Hey, what is up, everyone? Welcome back to another video of Farmer Nick, episode number eight on the American map or Ravenport. We're gonna hop in the John Deere skid steer and head up to field number 22. We already got the 8R sitting up there. I uh, had to send the 8270 r back. They uh, needed it back. Someone else wanted to demo a smaller one out, and they sent me back an 8370R now. So we got that thing hooked on this kind of subsoiler mixer thing that I wanted to try out too, and it was hooked on this one. So I said, you know what, send it. I'm done grain carting and everything with a smaller tractor. So they said, well, we got this thing in the back, and we could send it if you want to demo it out. We know you got a little disc that you just bought from us not long ago. And I said, yeah, I'll take it. I'll give her a whirl since I got the big tractor here because, you know, my 6M will hardly pull it. And then I asked him, I says, you know, um, I says, how much horsepower is that thing? Well, this 80, they really didn't know. And then they're like, this 8370R we got on it, she can pull her in places, but places she winds and grinds going up hills. So I was like, oh, okay. yeah. I guess my uh, tractor won't be able to pull it. They're like, no, none of your tractors will be able to pull it then. So we're going to run across the road here. Here she is. I oh, was just looking at I had, they brought some weight on the front of her and I've already done a couple of rounds here. So it's kind of a thing that you can put for seed or fertilizer down with it at the same time so you can apply in a fertilizer. I can't take these wheel marks out that we did with the sprayer, but that's nothing. It's whatever. So let's get cracking on this. We got a lot of work to do, boys, so let's get going. Let this thing warm up here for a few minutes. Just cause this tractor's gonna get hot. Don't want her going cold and dying on us, you know? Nah, just kidding. Let's warm her up and let's roll. Alright, we don't need that screen. So we're going down here. Watch this thing drink fuel like a bugger. Alrighty, let's turn it on. It's like hydraulic driven all the, uh, Fans and everything, so they're all hydraulic driven. So this is where she's gonna whine the most going up this big hill. But as soon as we come downhill, we can come down about nine mile an hour. But I'm hard to say that we can actually pull it uphill at six, so we got a lot of acres we gotta plow today. So we'll just keep her going through the acres. I was gonna end up coming over here and spraying all this stuff, but you know, it it's just not worth it because we're gonna rip in subsoil the stuff and mix it all in the ground. It isn't worth it. We'll just spray it in the spring if it comes up. Nice to throw a cover crop on this stuff, but you know, I don't think that's happening. We're going to be tramping the heck out of this grass back here, but it's grass, right? So it's not going to matter. It's not really going to matter a lot to me if it gets trampled. So we're pulling this thing down about nine. Now we're pulling her eleven. Hopefully our color packer gets that thing. Nope. So I like how I wish you could be able to unhook that uh looks pretty good. I wish this thing was a little bit wider. Yeah, I know it'd require a lot more horsepower, but I wish you'd get a bigger one. Cause you know, we'd get a nine iron put on the thing, and I think a nine iron would handle it. Uh, Matthew, one of my buddies I play with quite a bit, uh, he was messing around with it on my uh, server that I have my channel that I do my uh, live stream and stuff on there. Uh, he put the biggest challenger on it and pulled it pretty good, so. You know, I was thinking about that, but, you know, we had this 8270R sitting here, and then, I, then they wanted it back because I was thinking about this. It's actually pretty good time because I um, got finished picking the wheat or the corn up there at the custom job, and. When I was doing the last pass, they called me and asked me, uh, would we be able to come and get that, uh, tractor? We need it back. And I was like, sure. I was like, do you got any bigger tractors I can use, or I'm going to need another one for tillage, right? And then this is, as I already told you guys, so. Enough of me rambling on about that story, you know. So we'll just keep plowing. I wish you could take these wheel marks out with the sprayer, but I don't know if it's, like, 
compaction there, or what's that supposed to prove? Should be able to take your marks out, but you know. We'll have to just play it by ear. So I believe all of our fields have weeds in it. So it's basically just up and down, here we come around the corner. I'll just be quiet for a bit and you guys can just hear the engine roar and the implement going. Here's your fertilizer right there. Drop her in just a little too early, but it'll be all right. So how's the weather down where you guys are living? Are you guys getting snow or what? Because we'd get snow and then it freeze up for a bit. And then it's supposed to be ice storm and mixture of stuff tomorrow. So that's how it's down here in Canada, Ontario, you know. We only got about three centimeters of snow. So, you know, it's just enough. But I wouldn't want really hardly any, honestly. It'd be better. But I could use a snow day, you know. I feel I'm craving a snow day. Not craving, but I want a snow day. How's that? I really want a snow day so I can just sit home, play some farm sim with. Maybe we'll open up uh, like a server, single player game, or whatever, random new game, or something like that. You guys, we can have fun on. Um, yeah, I was thinking maybe of getting like a dedicated server and I opened up to strictly you guys and me. So. We could all just play on it. it. Won't be a series on it or anything. Or we could do live streams maybe in it or something. But I don't think that's gonna happen. But maybe down the road in the future we'll see. We'll see what happens. You know. Are we gonna get her all? Looks a little wide some places. Just gonna knock the weeds over. These weeds and bushes are all over the they're in the way all the time. It won't hurt them. We're not gonna do that wheat barley field over there right now just because 
Why aren't we going to do that? Um, just because I'm going to need more straw after I, I got all the straw stacked in the barn or the drive shop or drive shed at uh, the main farm where we're storing all the straw. I'm going to need another good 8 to 16 more bales to make it look better. So I'm not sure how many more I'm going to do, but we'll just have to wait and see. We might get to the main farm here yet and you guys can see how I'm getting everything doing or how's everything looking and everything like that. I'll show you guys all that in a bit. It's like that tractor was in regen. I was revving up. So our rotor beacons on, our flashers. And Looks like we're all folded up and ready for the races. There's my gateway. Easy. Easy, Charlie. So we'll have to come back and get that field later. We'll leave the gator there. We'll come back and get it later. Is that the junkyard? Looks like it. That looks like be like a junkyard. It's pretty cool. Turn all these off. Put that on. Dropper. Let's go. We're not burning a lot of fertilizer because we're pro we're putting on pretty light. So that's kind of nice. Hardly pull her up this hill. Don't worry guys, we're not going to do this whole field like this. I'm just going to do a few strips along here. Just because we got that fence and everything there and it's a little bit unhilly. It kind of slopes into that fence on us, so that's not a really good sign. See there? That's what I was afraid of. Especially we need a good decent turn and rate to get this baby or puppy turned around whatever you guys like saying better whatever terms I'm a bit tired so I'm gonna be tripping over a lot of words I do apologize guys but I gotta keep making content for you guys because I know you guys like watching so I gotta keep her going just I hope you guys are just watching if you guys enjoying the videos let me know in that comment section and liking Now, let's see if we can guess. Now, let's get this baby, this bad boy turned around. Now, we're going to guess. She in the ground? Yeah. We're just going to kind of put a line in, hope she's straight. Guarantee it isn't. We'll just have to wait and see what happens. This is a nice outfit. Let me know if I should keep this stuff. Um, they don't need this tractor and outfit back for a while. They said they got a few of these sitting on the lot. Plus, they got some case and sitting up there. We're not demoing any case. I like deer, especially since this tractor literally is a mod, and then they got a whole bunch of them sitting at the yard now because they're new, right, to the game. So they're like all the new mods basically get bought and stuck at the shop, so people come and look at them. It just depends if they like them or not, you know. It just depends how new they come, and depends if they have room in their yard to store the equipment. Like this tractor, there was room for about five or seven of them, and there was about three to four when I went up driving around looking at this tractor up there earlier today. When I came by with the... What was I doing? I was doing a... I don't know, I was coming home from town to get fuel or something earlier, and I seen that, so... I seen this tractor, so I had to stop in and look at it, you know? I had to go window shopping. I do a lot of that in farm sim at least. I do a fair amount of it in real life, I could say that. So 
So I had another question is, do you guys want me to uh, do like an average day on the farm? Just a farm, normal farm vlog of me doing, feeding the animals and everything like that? You guys want something like that when an average day on the farm is? Or maybe, maybe not. Let me know. Let me know if you want an average day of doing chores on the farm. See what it's like. If those non-farmers want to see what it looks like, I can do a video on that. Let me know. Um, let me know what you guys want to see for some real-life videos on the farm. Like, give me some ideas on what you guys want to see. I know equipment tutorial would be nice. Uh, that'd be coming up probably in about two, about a week or so. I should start working on that. Um, basically, we should be done everything. As of now, we should be done of everything. I'm supposed to go run the tractor and ripper here a little bit later yet tonight. So I'm supposed to go get the plowing all done. And then I should be home about two. And then it'll get washed up and it'll sit out in the sun. You know, if the snowstorm don't come. We'll have to see how things go. But yeah, just give me a little bit here and the farm tour will be coming up. What else do you guys want to see? Uh, there isn't really much all we do on the farm, basically. Uh, I do a little bit of snow removal, that's about it. Uh, I might be able to grab some footage of that off and on. We'll see how things go for the first little bit. I obviously probably won't do the first video of me doing moving snow, but I could probably do something in the meantime. We don't have any green bins, so there's no trucking corn or any of that stuff. Might be able to do some maple syrup sap stuff. I got some videos on hauling the sap up to the barn. So if you guys want to see some stuff like that on... If you guys want to see some maple syrup or sap stuff like that, go and check out the Game Bros. Look up 60 John Deere 6430. That's what I uh, titled the videos as. <laughs> Playing in the mud, driving the tractor up in the dark. Um, driving, basically I'm driving the tractor through about making two to three foot ruts all the time so that's how muddy it was in the spring because there's no frost or anything to carry us because we're we are dragging the sap up through the field because we have to get it up to the barn because the we're not actually making it that year so we had to haul it up to someone else who's going to boil it and give us a syrup back and they were going to keep it a little bit for themselves so that's how we we're going to do that that's how that all made out in the end i believe Gosh, this 8R is getting pretty dirty. We're not all going to quite get her, so we'll make her a 2. Whip this bad boy around here tight. Turn. There we go. In the ground she goes. Are we taking the grass right over for them? Looks like it. Let's see if we can get rid of some weeds. Too bad they wouldn't stay down. Alright, let's fold this bad boy up again. That's kind of nice. The tongue extends in and out when you're for road travel. That's pretty darn cool. It's quite a setup. You guys liking the setup we got going on here on the farm? Like the operation? I think it's fair operation. What field do we want to go to next? This thing have a plowing. 
technique to it? I don't think so. these and away we go so what we're probably going to end up doing next video is we are going to plow those three fields over there together just because it makes more sense in my opinion just plow those three together instead of putting it as three different ones make it all one because you do plant those three I usually plant those three as of one crop so it's going to be easier for me to just do it that way So yeah, there's a new patch coming up for Farming Simulator 2019 later December or early January. It should be available, I believe. If I remember, if I remember reading that right. So I don't know if that's true or it might be earlier. I'm hoping it's honestly earlier. This, the earlier, the better, obviously. But we'll just have to play it by ear, Giants kind of glad it's more like a landscaping stuff so you can more like make your farms and stuff as I said in the previous video we're missing some there so that's not good Doing, this thing's doing a really nice job, in my opinion. Putting fertilizer on, so we don't have to. So we'll put fertilizer on with the planter. Hopefully, we'll find a better planter in the meantime. Uh, we'll have a better planter in here, so we can put fertilizer and stuff down at the same time. And then we all will have to do is spray it once when the crop is half grown or 50% grown, whatever you like saying better. Either one works. We'll do something like that, or. And we'll also have to try and put pesticides down to keep the weeds under control this time, too. So I'm hoping we can take, take care of that. The weeds better this time. Now I know more of the game. We could be spraying these things right now, honestly, but it's not worth it. Just a waste of spray. But you probably would, yeah, you would be probably end up, in real life, you'd be spraying these things down, killing them, and then come back in a later, a week later and plowing these up. But it's not real life, so we're all good. It's not like those things are just going to come grow back up in a week, but no, it's not like how it is. It's kind of nice. I wish, honestly, Seasons was in here, and I think a lot of people are saying this right now. I'd really like to get Seasons, GPS, and Follow Me be the nice three things right there. Those would be things that I wish Giants would have talked to those people that uh, made those and had them actually in the game. That would have really made it good for the PC people. But uh, yeah, I can't. I can see it that it, they wouldn't did it for the Xbox because it'd be really hard. But you didn't have to put it on the Xbox, right? Because those console guys, they don't need GPS. There's no way. There's probably is no way, honestly, to get GPS working. But I think the console people will love it if it did happen. But Quite sure that's not possible. And it is really hard to get mods on the console, guys. So that's why there's been people asking about mods and stuff. I believe they need more pickups and stuff on the consoles. Yeah, I agree. You guys need a lot more stuff. Like I can basically see what you guys get and can't get. We base we get whatever the console guys get plus more mods. That's how the mods work on the PC and the console. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe that's right. Let me know if I'm correct on the mod situation thing. If 
But who doesn't like plowing weeds under? With a John Deere 8300. Or John Deere 8370R. I don't know why I said 8300. I don't know why, honestly. But I honestly really want to keep this 8R. I feel like it's a good investment to the farm. So yeah, we're average about 7 mile an hour. Pretty good. Just drinking some fuel. She's the full tank. And obviously it was the full tank when I got it. Because it's a demo. Another demo. I'm thinking about changing this thing into a lease. So I'd lease it for... What? I think it's like 2 to 3 years. No, it's 4 years. My bad. We'd lease it for 4 years. And then we'd either end up buying the... PC of equipment outright. How did that thing get jiggled behind that tree? I don't know. That's a little funny. Oh, I think it slid around. There you go. That's how it did it. It slid around when I uh, backed up. I must have had a jackknife a bit and I wasn't paying attention, and that's where she got her. It's all good. We're finishing up the last little pass here of us using this, what do you want to call it, cultivator and thing, subsoiler mixture. Come back and get that little spot in that little patch, I guess, get them cleaned up, wrap them up nice and clean, and then we'll get a mulberry plow and we will plow those three fields over there together. Looks like our horses are a little lonely down there. Just wheel this guy up here. Looks like a perfect spot. Well, guys, if you enjoyed this video, smash that like button, subscribe if you're not already subscribed, and don't forget to turn on post notifications. Don't forget to see you guys tomorrow. And I hope you enjoyed this video. So thanks for all watching, and we'll see you next time. Thanks, guys.